Hello, I'm Davis Tolliver, and this is Business and Economics for Kids. Now, today our topic is supply and demand. So, what's supply? Well, supply is how much of something somebody has, like how many shirts somebody has. If I have five shirts, then that's how much supply I have. I have five. Yeah. Okay, so basically. Now, what's demand? And um, so demand is how much something is wanted. Well, in the economics world, at least. How much of something is wanted. Uh, so, so what's the difference between the two? Well, they're not that different. They actually go hand in hand. Supply is how much of something somebody has, and demand is how bad people want it. Uh, so they're just different meanings, but they go together really well because supply, supply and demand together can help find the cost of something. So let's say you have one chocolate bar left, and all of your friends want it, and they're willing to trade you for something. Well, since you your supply is one candy bar and the demand is five friends, and they're all willing to trade you, then you can make the price or how much you want to trade for the candy bar up because so many people want it, and you only have one left. That's kind of how they do. That's how they do it at stores too. Uh, well, sometimes at stores or other things like um, if a lot of people want one thing, they'll raise the price trying to get as much money as they can from it since so many people want it. If they bring it up and they only have one left, then people are probably willing to buy it. Now, why are supply and demand important? Well, basically, I just said that. They help find the cost of something, which is very important, as we know. If you don't have cost, then mayhem. So, in this next clip, you'll see why a uh, one way that supply and demand are so important. If you remember Sarah, then you know she has a dog walking business. But her dog walking business has been in high demand. There's only one of her, so supply is low. But there's a high demand. So she thinks... Because of this, I need to raise the price. So she raises the price, and she thinks this is a lot more better for to spend her time on because she makes more money. This is an example of supply and demand, since the supply was low, but there was a high demand, so she needed to raise the cost in order to keep a ratio in between sp supply and demand. Now, some of you may be wondering, I want to see supply and demand, or where can I see supply and demand? Well, actually, there are many places. As I said, the chocolate bar example earlier with m your friends, that's kind of actually an example that can happen in real life to kids or students. Um, you can, you also, another example, as you'll see up here, clearance racks. Those are like places where um, stores, clothing stores or stuff, or maybe other stores even, put goods or um, goods like clothing or something or products and they put them there and they put them on sale because nobody has been buying them so and they want and they don't have the room anymore to keep them and they're like why would we keep these if nobody's going to buy them so they put it on sale because less people want them and they have a lot of supply or something so since they have so much supply and but they don't have much demand they need to lower the price so they'll have more demand so more people will buy them so they can get them out of their stores also, um, yeah, so here's a clearance track picture. So in conclusion, supply and demand are very important to the cost of a product or service even. They can also be with services. I forgot to mention that earlier. If some a lot of people want you to mow their lawn, then you can raise the price since so many people want you to mow their lawn. Um, now, um, let's see. An example of supply and demand is clearance racks, as I said earlier. Um, because nobody has bought the things on them for a while, wanted to buy the things for a while, they have to lower the price so more people will buy them, and they need to put, and that's, since they're on sale, they want to show that they're on sale so they can get them out, so they put them on the clearance rack. I forgot to mention that part earlier. Okay, so, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for watching for our next videos.